I could imagine Hosea standing there at the threshold of the door saying, do not leave. Do not go back. It's not what you think it is. You've had everything. Could you imagine her walking right by him, right back down the same path, back to the same city with Hosea following her saying, please don't go. Don't go. Don't you know that I love you? Don't you know that I gave everything for you? You're my heart's desire. But she left. I want you to listen to me for a little while this morning. You see, when a man and a woman turn away from God and sin, it hurts him. I can imagine he pleads for us not to go. Why would you want to leave me after all that I've done for you? Why would you want to crucify me, the Son of God, afresh and put me back to open shame? Hebrews 6 and 6, how they turned away and put him to open shame. You see, when you go back on God, I wonder if he stands there and says, why would you leave? You see, it puts the whoop back on his back. It puts the crown back on his head. It hangs him back on the cross. Why would we hurt the one that loved us so much? 